all right so how's it going everybody hope we're all doing well and in this one i'm telling you don't buy the rtx 4060 so i have got myself the rtx 4060 i'm pretty sure like a year ago basically somewhere in that territory and as of now i don't feel like the rtx 4060 is a really good gpu for the money and let me explain why so hey if you like the video press that like button if you have an rtx 4060 and you're so damn bitter about it talk to me down in the comments so basically the rtx 4060 is a really good gpu i'm pretty sure it is it's you know covers a lot of aspects for a lot of budget gamers one of the more important ones that a lot of people actually seem to forget about that they produce low profile rtx 4060s and the rtx 4060s low profile you know are readily used for the mini gaming pcs the you know console like gaming pcs it provides a really good upgrade over something like the rtx 3060 12 gigs because it's got the brand new features dlss3 and stuff of that kind and it's even more power efficient so yeah it really puts you in a really good situation if you are an nvidia fan or you're getting a pc you want the nvidia gpu because anything lower than this gpu in terms of pricing from nvidia at least on amazon and newegg you wouldn't find anything that would make any sense because you'd go down to an rtx 3050 6 gigabyte or 8 gigabyte gpus so this is where hats off to the rtx 4060 but right now when you look at the competition this is when we're talking the RX 7600 versus the RTX 4060 is a bit of a debate, but again, if you are a content creator, if you are NVIDIA biased, it's more or less, you know, NVIDIA is winning here because it's pretty much the same rasterization performance, but when it comes to the 3D intensive apps and things of that uh, sort, you know, NVIDIA is a clear win. But once you make the actual transition to the RX 6650 XT, this is where things get really interesting. This GPU right now goes for $220. The RTX 4060 goes for $280. That's crazy, the pricing, the difference in general. And when you look at the performance, you'll find GPUs actually pretty much the same. Rasterization wise, it's the same. And look at other feature or other thing actually to think about who really needs ray tracing for a $300 GPU if the difference is $80 for a competitor that's for all performs the same it's got the same vram it consumes around the same power draw and it's from amd this is the only thing that goes for it that nvidia fans might not like but for a budget pc i feel like again going with the oric 6600 xt or 6650 xt for 200 to 220 dollars on amazon right now makes all the sense in the world and that's why I'm saying don't buy the RTX 4060 before you know this. There are a lot of other alternatives right now from AMD being these two GPUs that would perform the same and would give you, you know, better value for money for a sub $500 gaming PC that you can check out in the description or in the top right corner, I feel like. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it should be over there. Yeah. So yeah, that's been it. If you like it, press that like button. If you want to see that, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.